All right. Uh, can the COVID-19 vaccine cause infertility? This is probably the most common question I get from women. And we have to remember that right now there is no long-term data looking at these vaccines and future fertility, right? So this myth went around social media, went around the web, circulated. People heard about it and they said, well, I don't want to get the vaccine because it can cause infertility. We don't know what can happen a, a year after this vaccine, right? We just developed it. We don't know what can happen a, a year after this vaccine, right? We just developed it. However, vaccines have a very safe track record in pregnancy. We know that pregnant women have gotten COVID-19 and we have not seen a major rise in spontaneous miscarriage. So there's no evidence at this time to support that. But of course, we need to follow it. Oh, my. My, my, my. Now, why do I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone? Now, I know this is a sensitive subject, and I don't want to sound like a little chicken McNugget, but I'm worried, and I have good reason to be suspect. I just don't want to be on one of those commercials, you know, like, have you or one of your family members taken the vaccine? Please call this number. Get a lawyer, you know? I'm worried, you know, because a nurse is vaccinated, but just minutes later, this happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tiffany Dover fainted as she spoke to reporters at a hospital in Chattanooga, Tennessee. But it turns out it wasn't a reaction to the vaccine. Tiffany has a medical condition and faints often. She quickly recovered and spoke to reporters. Now, I definitely ain't trying to scare nobody, but I feel like it's my choice because it's my body. And I feel like this whole thing now, it was kind of rushed. Then they turn around and try to force it upon us. Now, hold on. Okay, let me shut the F up. And maybe the sky isn't falling. And maybe I just been hit by a nut, but I'm worried. I feel like it's going to be made mandatory, like in a way of messing with my money. How do you feel? Where do you stand on this? Huh? Survey data shows that nearly 40% of the U.S. population doesn't want it. Widespread mistrust might have something to do with the fact that if anything goes wrong with the vaccine, the drug makers that produce them aren't responsible. This is a remarkable circumstance. It's certainly not like anything anybody's ever seen before. That means that companies like Pfizer and Moderna have total immunity against lawsuits related to injuries resulting from taking the COVID vaccines. Meanwhile, employers are legally allowed to require employees to get immunized against the virus. Total immunity against lawsuits related to injuries resulting from taking the COVID vaccines. Meanwhile, employers are legally allowed to require employees to get immunized against the virus. And one more thing, my job asked me, hey, Mr. Dominique, would you be willing to take the vaccine? And I was like, huh? What you mean? They, I, it hit me stuttering, like, I can't believe this scheme. I think I'm gonna be cut from the team because this damn vaccine, ouch. Or maybe I don't know what the F I'm talking about. And I hope that I'm wrong at every word that comes out my mouth. But this is just pure speculation. But I'm patiently waiting that nothing grim is in the making. Characteristics of these vaccines, um, it's great that we have multiple of them. Uh, that but are Bill, going out there and, and yes, I you, think you know the data the better than I do. But the bill, bill, the, the data showed that everybody with a high dose had a, a side effect. Yeah, but some of that is is not dramatic. Where you know it's just you know super painful. But yes, there we need to make sure there's not severe side effects. The FDA, uh, I I I think will do a good job of that. The FDA, uh, I I. I think we'll do a good job of that. Uh, despite the pressure. Despite the pressure. So the FDA was under a lot of pressure. You know, when I'm under a lot of pressure, I make mistakes. Like, pressure busts pipes. Now, Bill Gates was a salesman. He's doing a horrible job, in my opinion. He got me worried. Now, I know vaccines did good things, great things, and I'm aware of that. I'm just worried. 
Maybe I ain't got all the facts. If you do, leave a comment, help me out. But I'm worried. I'm worried. And I got one more to say, one more thing to say. Ben Shapiro, please take it away. If a, if a major conservative figure who had met with a bunch of members of Congress were out there literally telling people that the COVID vaccine was a vial of death, you know that would be at the front of every single newspaper, right? Conservatives deny vaccine efficacy. And yet here was Louis Farrakhan doing just that. Democratic members of Congress have met with this guy. They continue to meet with this guy. Have you seen a headline about this? Here's Louis Farrakhan, who has many, many followers, talking about how the COVID vaccine is a vial of death. Some of these uh, so-called vaccines, you know, it's the nanoparticles that men like Dr. Fauci have proprietary knowledge of that allows them to get a patent for their vial of death. I mean, how is that not the headline? Agreed. How is that not the headline? Don't get me wrong. I don't know what's going on. Where I stand, I could stand all alone, you know? But I know the propaganda machine is in full effect. And I see this it. is amazing news, people. America approved the vaccine on Friday night and people started getting it this morning? You hear that, COVID? Your days are numbered, bitch! You realize that this time next week, we're all gonna be back in the club like shots, 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 in my arm, please! But remember, as exciting as this is... Now, for the record, I don't, I don't support what Louis Farrakhan said or anything. I'm just worried. But I'm gonna get up out of here. Peace, love, deuce.